Hello everyone, my name is Dromat and today we're going to do a level by level Tilia guide in which I'm going to talk about the wonders of mid lane, about how to play her in mid lane and why she's not really played that much at all right now. I'm gonna pause right here, why P doesn't work, press P. I'm gonna pause right here before the game starts so we can talk about a little of runes, masteries, whatever, we don't even have that anymore. Anyway. Uh, skip, uh, I will put in the comments where to skip whatever towards the start of the game. Now, for runes, uh, we're going to do the electrocute one, the heal one, if you follow the tree, uh, the movement speed against uh, mages that really are hard to dodge, like a Syndra stun or like, I don't know, Cassiopeia Q, or the heal rune, and uh, you can take Poro or the other rune as well. And we're going for the minion dematerializer as the secondary and add or any other rune, like use the cooldown reduction one, but you can go for whatever. It's very useful to have minion dematerializer for perma push. Uh, that's the first thing. The second thing that I want to talk about is summoner spells, as you can see here in the right, in the left, sorry. I'm going for ignite and flash. I rarely go anything else. Maybe exhaust against assassins, but I'm really interested in getting those kills. And if she plays with heal, as you can see, it's way more useful anyway. Uh, that's another thing. Um, and the last thing, of course, is the items. Now, you'd want to choose between Morello and... no Morello, sorry, not Morello. Uh, Ludens and Archangels. Now, I go for Archangels in most games right now because I feel I need to spam my Qs in the team fights, and I feel I can do more by pushing all the time, having the tier and the other mana item, and going bot to roam. I'm really not interested most of the time in kills. When my bot is not doing fine, I try to help them, and usually having a winning bot lane will win you the game. That you can note it down. I, it took me like years to understand it. And uh, yeah, you can go Ludens if you feel the game will go towards your favor early on and you don't scale into the late game. Now I expected here with the Kai'Sa and the Graves to scale a bit into the late game, but as you will see, we didn't really. We won pretty hard as well. Now, having that in mind, after you have this item, you go for Sword Boots and you either go Zonia or Rabadons or Morello. You can go any builds you want, but just keep some items. Zonia, usually you need it. Morello or Magic Pen, you need it. Even Rabadons, you can pick one of those and you can go with it. Just try, okay? Trying is the best thing on this champion. And it, she, I know she has a hard learning curve, but if you start to hit most of your Ws, which you should in practice, too, you'll do just fine. That's a long intro, and now we want to talk about how to play her level by level. Again, I did this tutorial most of the time. I did most... I did more tutorials like this, but I feel that I promised to make a video that's more clear and I try to talk a little more uh, about some things that I don't usually. Now, as usual, you should be focusing in level 162, just survive the lane or even roam if you feel that there is a chance of roaming. And you have your passive, you should always always 24 7 abuse your passive it's practically an aurelion soul e but with you know no cooldown and uh, less speed but still it's available all the time so you can use it so just push and go to ganks but yeah ganking is post level six now first six levels you can go for kills because most mages don't have their ultimates and most uh, people i tried here you see what i tried here i knew he had that uh now, I will just uh, poke her a bit, but I still want to talk a little about one more thing. I will pause here. Uh, if you play against assassins, you should play more careful, and she doesn't really shine. Talia doesn't really shine against assassins, but shines against most mages. And that being in mind, you can actually do a lot of stuff with her if you practice her and if you believe in her a bit, because it took me a while to understand how to play her, and you see from my latest score, I do kind of fine, unless I get some AFKs in which I usually feed, but it's okay, the RFK game is over anyway, right? Yeah, it's a weird mentality, but don't mind that, it's one game in ten. The, these are the bad things. That one. Uh, so yeah, in most mages you can pick her. I usually ban Zed, and you are countered by Fizz, Katarina, and the likes, but you can actually play against them if you play smart and if you have exhaust. Uh, and you can buy Sonya's or benches and some man item and you'll still do fine but that's 
a thing for another time. Uh, matchups are another thing, but usually in mages Tulia is good right now, and even though she's hyper nerfed, I know, it's still a decent pick in mid lane, even though most people don't really pick her because there are obviously easier choices and better options. But as most people say, in most games you have to play the first six levels careful. Anyway, she's still a mage, she still deals burst, she just is different a bit. And I recommend you to try her if you feel the slightest. I mean, if you are interested in how she looks or feels, then yes, please pick her, try her. And if you don't, use a refund if you still have it or, well, that's it, now you gotta play it. But yeah, that's kind of sad if you don't like it and you buy bought her because she's expensive for a nerf champion, yeah. But still, I recommend you to try it. And this video probably won't be for new players because there aren't a lot of new players, but this video will be for the mains mostly because, yeah, I doubt a lot of non-mains play her right now. As you can see here at level one, uh, she kinda lost some uh, HP, but I lost three CS, which wasn't pretty good. So I'd rather probably have the CS in poker later, but you'll see it's a good thing later on. Actually, it's not I don't kill her, but you will see anyway how the game goes. Now, we're into a mage. A mage that has kill potential at level 6 usually, and that pokes pretty well. Uh, he, she, by the way, is also Daimon 4 on West, Europe West, like me. And uh, she has pretty good games in the past games, but as Cassidy and other champs, not as Syndra, but I guess she's an experienced mid laner, and we will see how that goes. I mean, she, the lane she played pretty fine, but that's not what we want to reach. Anyway, uh, we know the team comes. I know that Shaco might be around for level 2, so I played defensive. And as you can see here, it's just a standard lane. You should start always with Dorans to actually have that the extra damage on your Q, uh, because Corrupting Potion will negate a bit of your damage and you will feel a bit weak. I will lose also some cannons, but uh, I will do better in other areas. Now, bot lane is already winning, as you can see. Uh, that's a great thing, and Shaco I think is ganking top. Now I'm gonna speed this up, all you want to do in the early game is to try to poke or do a full combo, and that's it. I played this extremely defensive, why, you answer? Because we don't know where Shaco is. And we don't have a word here, and she just popped up here. Like, probably not even popped up if we look at this. Uh, yeah, just popped up on the screen a bit. And you will see here that uh, the moment I see him there, I understand a bit how the lane works uh, and where he is. Now, I tried to go for an, a full combo here, but uh, I knew somehow he might come. And as you can actually see here, he was tempted, and I did a word here to defend myself towards that, and top lane is winning as well, so as you can see it's already shapes like a win, but depends on what's, what's coming next. Now here I decided to just push, because I really, really dislike the fact that Shaco is around, and she can QEW anytime, so I'll just sit back, relax, and just let her push. I mean, actually, behind only on one CS, and we're doing great right now. We want to get that 6 and we want to not fight her unless uh, we got a clear kill opportunity. Because she can actually kill us if she dodges our combo. And she can actually poke us. Now here I don't play perfectly. I just get bullied a bit. Uh, and I don't want to waste my mana on a WEQ combo and then I wouldn't have anything for farm. Now I suspect Shaco is coming and you will see from her aggressiveness that she is, as you can see already, I noticed just because she came there. Now, if this stun hit, I would have died probably, but I notice here an opportunity and I just go for it. This is a stupid flash, but it got me the kill and she didn't actually do much else. She just wasted heal on him. So I got a free kill and I am free to use my money and to move on. I actually abused the gank here, and I noticed that their Shaco has no flash. Even though their bard was there, the flash was pretty bold, but it was enough. Uh, here she stays a bit more on lane, but I don't mind, she will probably recall there actually. Okay, we do great right now. Oh no, actually I went for one more wave. Uh, as you can see, I'm using my minion dematerializer as fast as I can, I have only two stacks in 
already and I try to use first one on each type of minion and then melees and cannons that's all no no need to do on the small ones because your we combo kills the small ones anyway and moving way faster because my voice will start to hurt in about five minutes here we do some wording and we actually expect here Syndra to follow so we position ourselves properly I worded that bash and then I expected her to come I knew she was there and now here she just tries to W EQ we just try to sidestep and I position myself badly here but it doesn't matter she will not have the burst as she doesn't play with ignite she will not have the burst to kill me did that was a worst the worst Q of my life but it doesn't matter we got the free kill as she flashed there uh, that was a pretty awful flash I think if she flashed this way she would have lived because we wouldn't have vision and yeah, I think Graves Flash as well. So yeah, she probably would have still died. But that's not the point. The point is that we got the kill. We knew when to pretend to roam. As I seen from uh, other great mid laners like the rank one, Magic Felix, I think his name or whoever is that guy with a lot of accounts. I think he is. Uh, basically, what I've seen in a video, I don't remember by whom. That he goes a lot towards these zones. I mean these zones where he just pretends to roam and that's exactly what I did I went here I knew he had no vision about me I had the vision word if I recall correctly in this bush for a long time so I probably expected to be unworthy so yeah I went for it and as you can see here I still don't have money for uh, my tier but I, I usually recommend going book first then tier uh, because you'll really start to stack the tier if you go this build only after you have Archangels. So that's another thing to consider. Now, you should always buy Vision Wars, by the way. Here I get stunned, I will get some poke. Now, in this point, you see my HP. In this point I use a potion and I do not go close to her. I understand that even though she doesn't have Ignite, she might have kill potential on me because, I don't know, a Shaco E... A random bar queue that's enough to kill me so I try to play as defensive as I can and I try to gain some advantage now here not using my wooden ganking bot is not really a good thing but as everything is winning I do not have any reason to so we just keep it and push the lane and play good as good as we can but here as you can see I'm getting again ganked by the bar and I don't really have an escape but I do have an ignite and I actually did a mistake there. She would have died if I would have hit one more Q. But as I didn't, she lived with 16. Oh, 1 HP. I don't know if you've seen that. So basically, we're going to pretend that this didn't happen. We get the kill because it was just practically misfortune. When you get off by one point of damage, I suppose, it's not that... You can say luck at that point. I mean, come on. And we don't mind either because... Bart took the kill as you can see and we didn't lose just we lose just an ignite and we didn't really lose much just we gave some gold to Bart which is the support which is still fine after all bot lane it's winning hard Shaco will get a double kill right now and top lane is doing fine as well now we're interested in just killing the Syndra now and just I don't know clearing around putting words I expected here for the Shaco to come because, as you can see, I thought he would come for the crab and give me a free kill because he's a half HP. Now, totally I can burst people and you know that, especially with Electrocute, we should, which you should play with. Uh, combo is simple, just Q every time and auto-attack, auto-attack, Q, auto-attack, well, you proc Electrocute, that's enough. And exactly, we do fine here. We, I see Syndra, okay, before, I talked a lot here, but before... I started the last sentence. I knew Syndra was starting to go top and I started pinging and even though uh, I knew she was going there, I had to finish that cannon minion because it's 100 gold and I started pinging my team. Careful, Syndra is coming. So, I started to move up after I finished the push. As you can see, I'm even in CS with her. And here you will see a little fight in which we don't really do much but I'm here now and we can turn the fight around and as you can see we've got actually is going for it 
and escaping and we're not really losing it just move your mid around your mid laner if uh, around their mid laner if she roams just be there for your team because you're Tulia and you're expected to to gank a lot now here is just a free kill he missed his Q it doesn't matter we got the kill we move on uh, I switch towards the gold how do I switch it back I have no idea how to switch this back oh my god I feel totally useless right now come on can anyone teach me how do I change that whatever is not even important we're gonna play without items oops I accidentally moved in the past don't mind me right here we were okay sorry for that I'm just a bit tired after a long day and we're going to move next I'm going to close this or somehow yeah I'm freaking out right now <laughs> ignore me okay back to the action here I got a cue to the face and uh, always when you go back you should buy potions I recommend to go for the refillable if you think uh, if you think you're gonna get poked but potions work fine as well uh, simple potions now here I put that word there in hopes that she would go towards the bush and I would get a free kill after she poked because Orgot is missing from top I just did a random blind queue there hoped she would follow towards the tower but she didn't now here we wait for that minion and I think this shapes like a gank okay that was a horrible queue by me I just pop instantly ignite I knew we're pretty much guaranteed a kill here because we both have flashes and even she has flash uh, we have a lot of skills to catch up uh, long distance alt by graves and Q by me moving on uh, I try to zone here Shaco to get that gold and as much gold as possible so basically level 1 to 6 I fought her I got a kill on their jungler because she did a mistake and basically after level 6 I still fought her because my team was doing fine normally if your team doesn't do fine you should try to roam you can trade some CS for some uh, for some other stuff like kills but yeah here the thing and the plant ended on the word and he backed off and that actually made me lose the kill that was a free kill right there uh, I expected him to keep attacking that but I forgot that thing is not that long here Sintra goes top again I ping and I do not need to follow because both my team's teammates are pretty high in HP and they will start following towards me as well as you can see they can they will start uh, following here moving around and we're preparing for a mid lane dive the uh, graze is there and Orgot if you can see him on the map is there as well and I will just move in here with them get, getting the free kill on Bard and then Shaco starts attacking but uh, we're just going to back off now I don't know I think Syndra gave up here I will do a minor fail but Orgot is there and will get the kill and by this point the game is already over as you can see the score I died only once and really most of my teammates died only once here I should have died to truth be told uh, but I have my fiddlesticks right here and they have an Ezreal which doesn't output damage that much unless it's a single target and that ult wasn't doing anything because he's behind but yeah, the items are simple, I went for Archangels, uh, Sorks and Zonia as far as I know or, or remember and uh, I continued towards Rabadon but it was no time to get there. Okay, moving on, moving faster, way, way faster, there we go, too fast. Here I do a simple Q. I don't really notice in the first second that there's a Shaco, but then I notice him and we get for another we go for another kill right here. And as you can see the damage output is huge and he dies instantly. Uh, next thing you should do after level 6, 11 and that zone 
when you are in the mid game if you have a stopwatch buy use it if you don't have buy one in terms of engage you as a Talia can engage and use WEQ combo and you can get a kill from that or multiple you can zone people you can do a lot of things with that all and every time you have it you should try to engage if you can especially if you have follow-up strong follow-ups such as the fiddlesticks that I have here and things like that uh, here I had low FPS and I started to just wander around because I couldn't see much I'll be honest I don't have the best battle station <laughs> and uh, at this point the game will be soon over but we will not uh, give up on it we will still talk some points so stay on for that anyway we get the inhibitor soon they pretty much give up uh, as you can see uh, their team is mostly done for this and they didn't even play necessarily bad we just had probably the better comp and teammates in terms of the bot lane destroyed theirs and theirs is pretty weak if we don't have OTPs especially on Bard and Ezreal is pretty difficult to play as well so we keep going on we get the kills I have 10 kills and I'm doing pretty fine uh, and the game is pretty much over what I want to talk about is that to, I want to recap what you should do as a uh, Talia main and I'm gonna stop the game right here because it's over as you can see they will finish it and it's done okay uh, what you should do as a Talia main level 1-6 in the mid lane you the opponent you should try to queue as much as you can keep the lane even push it when you want to recall but usually don't recall on cannon wave use minion dematerializer on cannon first and then on, on melee and then on arranged and then usually on cannons to get the 100 gold for certain or on melees if you feel that you need higher push power if you feel that you need that higher push power and infinite mana go for archangels if not go for ludens go for the movement speed rune if you feel that you need to dodge ease of a syndra or st stuns or dangerous things or go for the heal if you feel that you need to output or heal more damage as in an Atrox but movement speed could work there as well or I don't know if you have someone that can burst you if you're against high burst that you cannot dodge use the heal mostly against Zeds or Katarina's I would use the heal rune because they usually get to you by flashing or whatever with exhaust, those rooms and some defensive items you can survive, even Archangel, because that has a shield. The benefit of Archangel is the shield, because in this matchup against Syndra I would have lived towards her ult every time with Archangel, but I still didn't stack it full right there. Taurus mean 20 would have been stacked full. Another thing that we should consider is the, what we do on lane. Now, we always look where their jungler is, because they can gank us. We always like trades 2 versus 2, especially if we have one of the major junglers, whatever's early on junglers. We should play with them and we should go for the kill on their jungler or on their mid lane, nerf as much as we can. Last game I had a Rengar before this and we matched perfectly because he understood that we both had high burst and we can camp their mid laner without a problem. Or And we also win all the 2 versus 2s because we're both early champions, I mean Rengar and Talia have huge bursts early on and they are pretty strong together as well uh, yeah that worked too and you should understand the strength she's strong because she's pretty much early champion I mean she's in the first at win rates towards minus 25 and she falls off a bit in the mid to late but she climbs back up in the late game because she has infinite Q's potential and you have infinite mana if you play with that build you should always be in the top 3 at damage because of your enormous poke and power as a champion. You should start learning how to hit WEQs and you should practice that a lot in practice tool. Now I know you don't really have a lot of options but you can try target minion waves coming, you can try target specific minions or you can go for it and put a lot of targets or you can practice with a friend if you have uh, someone that's really one desiring to help you now 
level 6 you should I mean aiming for the bot lane even earlier if you feel that you can hold towards these walls and you can go to the bot lane in, in any sides I've ganked at level 4, at 5, it always worked because my teammates understood and responded as well. I have a guide on how to gank. Have a guide on how to gank. It's a pretty big one and you've probably already seen it if you're here from a long time ago. And I recommend you to use it. Uh, besides that, after you do some ganks, you'll have your ultimate on cooldown. I'm gonna pause right here because we don't really want that skill to appear. Uh, you probably did a gank, it was probably fine or not, doesn't matter. You go back to mid, you keep pushing. If you try to fight the mid laner, their mid laner, if you have a matchup that allows it, and if not, and if you're still not heading all by your ganks or by moving around the map, you try to create pressure by pushing and working vision words in this zone somewhere, depending on the side, either here, 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 or even this bush, but this bush is more rarely to be used. And you try to move to pretend to gang to create pressure in some zones towards your bot lane. Usually you should ignore the top lane because truth be told, unless you have a Jax or something, a Irelia that scales towards infinity, you shouldn't bother going there much because it's way more important and you can get way more kills in bot lane, especially if you succeed. Now I know if you're against some smurfers, some hardcore smurfers that are duo, it will be hard to gank them, but you should always try. The ganks are simple, you just ult and trap people. You can use your ult towards Baron, towards Drake, you can use those zones as uh, pits, as corners, as circles of doom to damage them and to trap people and to get kills. Again, in mid game you shine by using Q and spamming it. I believe most people lose win rates, their win rates in mid the game because they do not play with Archangel, they play with Ludens, and with Ludens you will run out of mana after a simple combo, and most junglers will not pass blue to you, so we'll be able to spam it. That, conclus that concludes me to the fact that you should try Archangel once to see that even in mid game you can do things. You won't one shot people, but you don't need to one shot people as you will spam Qs, and you will survive more, and you will probably survive way more because you have. Uh, Archangel and maybe Zonia if you make it third item after Rabidon's Boots and Archangel not in that order, Archangel, Boots, Rabidon's and they stopwatch or stopwatch Rabidon's Zonia and that will give you a lot of survivability and people will still focus you but you will survive most of the time and they will be annoyed because you have a shield, have maybe flash, you have a lot of burst and you also have Zonia's and you can ult to engage in mid game to late game if you feel they do not kill you instantly or you can catch people that you should do or you should corner people with your ult you should trap you should find ways to engage now the worst thing that can happen to you is to have a bad early game and if you focus on the first six levels as everyone recommends you will do just fine and you will transition to mid game excellently once you finish just the archangel you can just stack it up and you will have a lot of mana to gank a lot and their mid laner will probably not have a lot of mana to keep it up on pushing or if it's a resourceless or energy assassin they will follow you but you will probably still be the first one to gank I think I covered a lot of aspects in this video and I think for now you know what to do at every stage of the game or have an idea now finishing the game matters most and those Late game teamfights can be brutal if you miss your main combo, but usually follow the CC, follow the stuns, the fears, and use your WEQ combo on those. I do not recommend to engage late game only directly, I mean don't jump in their team, just corner with the ult and jump close to their team but not really in the line of fire. And use WEQ combo, you miss it, it's okay, if you don't use it just wait for the stuns from your teammates and kill instantly a target there. Usually you should go for their mid laner or ADC or push your, their immensely fed bruiser away from your ADC if you don't feel that fed or if you don't have that burst. Those are the main points that you should follow. This is every stage of the game and you should always, always, always keep the farm up and focus on that. As you can see here, I'm even with everyone else. That's quite amazing actually. And the farm is pretty good as well for minute 18, it's not like we also got a lot of kills, I have 14 kill participation which is quite low compared to the other, but still decent and I didn't roam at all that much, man. just top side to follow and such. I played reactive this game and you should usually play proactive 
meaning that you should first gank and not let Syndra first gank. But then again, I didn't lose anything by letting her go here and I got her there in time and we got the kill and it was all fine. Bart played well though, he roamed a lot and he might have saved the game but it was just not enough because it was not enough combo potential and we really had general better players skill wise and the matchmaking didn't really do a good job for this one. But again, games and games we don't really know. This was uh, Diamond 4 40 LP game and on Europe West and I really hope you enjoyed it. It was quite short, it wasn't really a difficult matchup as I may say, it wasn't really an assassin but it was still fine and we still learned something and I guess I made a pretty big or conclusive description of what you should do and when you should do it and how you should do it. I'm Drumat and thanks for watching. Goodbye.